All right, so now we're adding the collet chuck to the right spindle. Um, really, um, I can add the collet and it doesn't have to be just for the right. It can be shared in between both. Really what determines that is if I make that a default here. Okay. So just keep that in mind. Um, just because it's a default here in your machine does not mean you can't ch change the clamping fixtures. You can change that in your job setup. And I'll create a separate video showing you how to do that. Okay, so then what I'll do is uh, let's expand this here. So I'm going to add, do, these are similar steps that I did or that I took creating my, my chuck. So let's say add a collet chuck here. <clears throat> excuse me, add a collet chuck. Um, so let's click on the drop down. We're selecting a solid entity. Again, same thing. We're opening a separate file. And I'm using a 5C collet system. Okay. So here, again, following the prompt, it says select one solid. Okay. Same thing that we did for the chuck. Selecting an edge, uh, so a round edge here. So I always go to the back, because uh, what happens if I select the front face, it'll give me the wrong orientation. So just a tip, I always select the back face of my chuck or my collet chuck. Okay, so that looks good there. We'll hit the green check mark. Kind of just run through these here. So here for, for a collet system, I'm not going to use a depth. I ran into some issues. I don't, I prefer to just control that in my collet. So I'll show you how to do that. So collet seat depth, I set it at zero. Thickness is five inch. That's correct. That is also correct. That's the through bore. And again, this is just the collet chuck, not the collet itself. I'll define that separately. Okay, all that looks good there. So now let's go to parameters and let's put a minimum and maximum spindle speed. All that looks good. Allow through stock, sure. Uh, really, this if this is going on the sub, uh, actually no, because this is this can be interchangeable with the main and the sub spindle. So. Allow through stock, that's correct. Okay, let's give this a name. I'm just adding 5C collet. All right, that looks good. Now let's add a collet, add a collet. Okay, same thing, drop down menu, select solid. Click here to open the file. I'm selecting the same file, it's 5C collet system. And as you can imagine already, you're going to have mult multiple solid models for different size uh, collets. All right, so this is a 5 8 diameter collet. You, you, I mean, you can only imagine how many solids you'll have to create. But it should be pretty straightforward. Use model prep to modify the, the inside diameter, and it shouldn't take you long. Okay, so here I'm selecting the collet model. Okay. And as you can see, this is a basic collet model. I'm not, it's not, you don't see the slots, any engraving. I just use basic models here. Okay. So that looks good. Now select component to align solid center. So here, if I select this edge, see, notice how it flipped the Z. That's why I always like to select the back edge here. Okay. So no biggie. Let's just change the orientation here for the opposite. And then here is where I adjust Z for the, the depth, okay? So in another session of Mastercam, I've already measured that, right? So what I'm measuring here is the distance from that edge to the edge on the collet chuck. See, it's 136.4. Now I'll adjust that here and I'm going back. So let's go to, just get it close enough. There you go. 
Okay, you can also type it in. So you can type or use use that skill. Okay, that's close enough there. I'll hit OK. Give this a name. Let's go five eight. Call it. Okay. That looks good. That looks good. I'm okay with that. In, in all reality, I just need the front portion, right? Um, what goes on beyond this taper doesn't mean anything because it's going to be stuffed inside of the collar chuck. But that's that's totally up to you. Um, clamping method, I'm clamping on the outside. The reference point is correct. I'll just hit the green check mark here. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the six inch chuck from the right spindle. And if and if, if you notice, when I created the collet, it was like I was creating it going on the main spindle. So don't create a spindle that you're gonna load, I'm sorry, don't create a chuck that you're gonna load into the right spindle in the orientation of the right spindle. It needs to be done like you're creating it for the main spindle, for the left spindle, okay? So let's delete component and children. Let's say yes sir. Nope. Add the collet chuck. Boom. And now add the 5 8 collet. Again, click, hold, drag, wait for that icon to appear, drop it in. I'm gonna right click here. Oops, actually, right click on the ch on the child. So you can view component and parent. That's what I'm looking for. And as you can see, it's in the correct orientation here because it's being loaded on the right spindle. Okay, so again, you don't need to, or when you're creating it, don't put it in the orientation of the right spindle. Do it in the orientation of the left. Okay, we'll save. And we'll hit OK here. We'll close down this session of Mastercam. Don't save it. Go over to Code Expert. Right, we need to save that GMD file. So simply click on the GMD file so this can become active. We'll hit save. It was grayed out before I clicked on it, in case you didn't see that. So the, the asterisk is gone. Now I'm going to reload that machine. So I'll open up a new session of Mastercam, or really what I want to do is just say new here. Don't save. Okay, go over to machine, select Milturn, and I renamed mine Custom DMG Mori. Okay, now when I go over to my job setup, and the job setup didn't come up automatically because I didn't have a solid model loaded on my screen. And as you can see here, I've got my new 10 inch chuck, the jaws to go with it. Same thing for the right spindle. I've got the collet chuck and the collet to go with it. So in the next video, I'll show you how you can interchange them. Or I should say how you can replace them with other clamping components. Mm -hmm.